Assalamu alaikum dear scholars. Today we are going to read Sunarab by Edward James Hughes or simply we can say Ted Hughes. Sunarab is actually a short and very concise poem but with a larger philosophy or a meaning we can say. And in this poem Hughes uh, presents a very tough and cruel image of nature and uh, he creates an atmosphere of a hard winter and uses images from nature to portray the toughness and brutality that a severe winter brings the poet describes in a few words that the way the way the winter has reduced the horizon of many creatures he says you know that the world has shrunk and many outdoor creatures are on the verge of death they no longer scurry or fly as they used to as i might have told you many a lot of times that winter has always been symbolized with death and the devastation because we rarely see any kind of growth or bloom in the winter and uh, in opposite to it the, the spring has always been symbolized with the life and this poem has a very beautiful meaning in the current context if we'll try to understand the poem because this poem has a direct link with the life and uh, we see uh, life is life is full of struggles and hardships and there are rare any there are rare persons actually who tackle who tackle who tackles with the hindrances or the problems or who fight the battles of life with determination and courage and they are of course said to be brave and successful uh, further nature also uses various processes to you know uh, we can say the teach the humans the lessons of success by determination and positive approach for example uh, this sonodrop is the best example uh, to understand the life or the struggles or the battles and of course the hope determination and the courage because this this kind of flower is is i believe the unique and the only flower that blooms in the, in the harshness and the severity of winter and and it directly it, it cuts its way open through the frosty earth and uh, <clears throat> further if we'll try to understand the overall sense of the poem uh this poem you know uh, the presence of a very harsh and cruel image of nature unlike other poets who who depict her beauty and glamour and uh, the poet pictures the life of different aerial and terrestrial animals which are affected by by the severe winter and uh, ultimately he talks about a flower called snowdrop and uh, which blooms in harsh winter and he admires the flower of a snowdrop for sprouting through the frosty earth surface and uh, further the the, the flower snowdrop uh, has been symbolized you know always symbolizes the innocence and the purity because uh, this is the this is the uh, first and the only flower that that blooms at the end of the winter and at the beginning of the spring and it also symbolizes hope <clears throat> for example if we'll see in the in the in the beginning's common you know first stanza we see uh, there are only two stanzas in the poem we see in the first stanza as 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 the book says now is the globe shrunk tight round the mouse's dull wintering heart weasel and crow as if molded in brass move through an outer darkness not in their right minds with the other deaths we see in this stanza the poet says that the globe has shrunk 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 has 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 become small because because of the extreme cold and he says that cold has you know stagnated or the stopped seized the moment movement of active and brisk creatures like a mouse and uh, which seem to be dull and inactive and uh, uh, the poet says that the crows which are free to fly anywhere are also restricted by the cold weather and the weasels also remain dormant as if, as if they are molded in the statues of brass uh further we see uh, you know even if these creatures try to move out in order to find their prey you know uh, you know we can say the food 
Uh, it appears as if the days were converted into nights because everything seems to be dozing and lifeless. Because that is there is nothing existing outside. There is no growth. There is there is no bloom. And moreover, they try to return to their places quickly. You know, due to the threat of the death because because of the chilly winter, and thus they seems to be worried and senseless. And and it, it is very difficult for the things for the creatures uh, to move uh, outside in search of food. Uh, even though they do get, but still, it's it is it is very in, in it's very difficult and 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 improbable actually. And in the in the next stanza, we see with with the other deaths, she too pursues her ends, brutal as the stars of this month, her pale head heavy as as metal. In this stanza, the poet turns his attention towards the little gloomy flower, you know, snowdrop, which blooms in such harsh weather and cuts its way open through the frost year. You know, it blooms in a beautiful way like the stars of winter season which shine without any consideration of cold and hot season. And uh, the snowdrop blooms with its drooping flowers which uh, which make a feel that its small pale you know, head is made of metal. Despite its heavy flowers and severe winter, it achieves its goal and blooms. And this, this, this was the small uh, introduction, a brief introduction about the poem. And in the next lecture, we'll try to analyze the poem thoroughly. Till then, goodbye.